Okay, great. I've just generated an entire course using Coursebox AI in four steps. And then within the first 30 seconds, it generated my outline. And now I'm up to the next stage. So it's saved and generated my left menu and it's parsed and copied across all those lessons and topics or pages. And also in the middle here, you can see it's using, in this case, GPT-4 Omni to write each page of content for me. And we've got an AI sound button, so I can click that and have a voiceover read in whatever language I've selected. And up the top right, there's a pen icon, so I can toggle between the pen and the preview mode to see what it's like as a learner. And you'll see it's very text heavy, so we wanna enhance that. I'm gonna show you how. And if we go to editor mode, I'll firstly show you a couple of the more interactive pages that have been generated. The first one is a quiz page. And you'll see I've got a pass grade. It's set to a randomized feature for each question. And you can turn that on or off for each question type. It's given me right and wrong answers. And if I want, I can enhance that page further using the WYSIWYG or any of the other interactive features and go to preview mode, proceed and test that out as a learner. If I go to the next page, I want to show you one of my favorite features, which is the scenario builder. And this is where I find a lot of the deeper learning really happens for learners. It's, at, it's produced automatically at the end of every lesson and after the quiz for that deeper knowledge test. Uh, and it's really good for formative ongoing assessment as well, or check-ins with your students. So you can see there's a case study in this case about the SL38 window system, and uh, there are certain assignment deliverables that the learner is able to just click and, and write about on the, on the chat window here, or uh, they're able to upload an assignment as a document. There's a grading rubric that is available by default. Now you can hide that from learners using that little hide icon or enable it for transparency and you can edit your grading rubric. Why is that important? Well, it's because we have an AI assessment tool. So within about 10 seconds of writing my assessment answer, there will be some feedback. And there we are, I haven't done very well in this case. Right, I've received, in fact, zero grades for each part of the grading rubric. It's a really clever algorithm behind that. And the better your responses, the more likely you are to pass. Uh, the admins will be notified and this will go into my grade book. And if you're using this as a SCORM connection or an LTI, it will go into your learning management system as well. So that is the case study. Now, how do you publish a course? Okay, we just go to publish settings, top left, anytime. You can publish as a private course, so you fully control who's allowed to access it. Public means that anybody who has the link or is within the platform is able to access it immediately without any special requirements. Or you can publish as paid, which currently requires a Stripe login to be connected in your payment settings. You can also export a course as PDF or HTML, and you can share it in various ways. So you can preview it as a learner, like I showed you, uh, share the link and send that out for self-enrollment purposes, copy as an iframe, you can actually embed a course within a web page, publish it to an LMS using LTI technology, and there's some instructions and support there. We've also got full user guide if you've got any questions at all. Check that out first, or indeed ask Bob uh, what is LTI, and uh, he's a world of knowledge. So we're going to close Bob. Thanks, Bob. That's enough for now. So this becomes your landing page for your learners, and to edit the landing page, you can close out and click into edit, and this is where you can rewrite your description of the course, learning objectives, and many other items in there. If we click on the COG setting, this is where you can say duplicate a course or manage your administrators, facilitators, learners, uh, and, and otherwise. And in fact, that's the quickest way to get a learner to test your course is to click on the learners, type in an email address, and you'll see it asks for first name, last name, and just send off an invitation, or you can even customize that invite. 
If we go back to editor mode, I want to show you some more of the advanced features as far as how you can enhance a page, make it look a lot better. So there's the WYSIWYG in the middle, so you can add in images and videos and all sorts of stuff. Or you can even edit the actual code itself if, if you're feeling brave. You can click on the AI writer and There'll be more and more features coming here, but at the moment you can describe how you want it rewritten. Do you want it as a French poem or do you want it to be shorter or expanded upon? Uh, then just describe it. You can set how many words will be written. Uh, you can deselect, replace existing text. So it will append more text to the existing. And over on the right, there's a lot of features as well. So you can click on images, upload one or more images as a gallery downloadable files for your students. That might be good for a user manual as a PDF or something. Uh, we've talked about the quiz builder. You can build one manually. You can upload videos, or we've actually got this really exciting feature, which will generate a proposed script for a kind of virtual trainer. And in this case, we've got a full integration with Synthesia, but we are building our own native version of this AI trainer in the coming months, so watch out for that. And uh, if you convert text to video using your API key from Synthesia, then 10 minutes later, you'll find a video of this avatar or this teacher reading out the script. Uh, I'll go back to video. You can also simply paste in a Vimeo or a YouTube link or upload a video as well. I've got a link here, so I'm gonna paste that in and I'll show you what that looks like. There it is, we've got a video page. What's another example? Well, you could create a presentation and share that with anyone, copy the link, and if we paste that into one of our course pages, that's another great way to enhance our page very quickly. So I'll just save that slideshow, and now we have an interactive slideshow on the page that we can either click through like so, or go full screen. And that's really good for blended learning as well. While we're at it, I'm gonna show you how we can use a survey monkey. So here's a survey I created about wine consumption, uh, different beverages as part of an RSA course. And let's say we wanted to add in a survey, which can be good at the beginning or in fact, we, we could just add in a survey here using the menu. I've just clicked add topic, click on that and add in a survey. And there's other options like force completion, but I'll leave that unticked just to show you an interactive experience using SurveyMonkey. What other features are available? You can embed a PDF that's scrollable and SCORM. So, with or without notes, you can upload a third party course authoring tool like Articulate Storyline or H5P you can export to SCORM format and create an interactive page for your learners beyond what's already interactive. There are other features like you can control the layout, you can enable discussions and socialize any page. And that can be good for peer to peer discussions or peer to admins for any questions. It can also be good if you're sharing a course between administrators and you want to collate some comments on each page. You can also turn every page into an accessible page through chat, give it a pass grade, and you can even edit the question of the button text like so, or when there are submissions available, you can download all and that comes to the final point, which is on reporting. So that's one way to gather important reporting data and submission data for open-ended assessments, but for quizzes and overall passes, simply use the left menu, click on reports and visit your learners and, and generate reports that way. Thanks very much. And reach out if you've got any questions to support at coursebox.ai.